Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today is a particularly exciting day for me. We have a product that I purchased um, that I'm going to show to you today um, that is going to be particularly useful on uh, my adventures working on my investment property. I've got a lot of overgrowth, um, spindly little trees and some bigger ones on there. Um, that's got to come down. Uh, so I bought a chainsaw. And not just a regular chainsaw. I mean, I've had chainsaws before, but, you know, that gets a, a hassle after a while. Changing the oil and keeping it topped off and filling it with gasoline and um, all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, they're noisy. You got to wear earplugs. Um, I figured, what the heck? I got a cordless battery powered chainsaw, specifically a Ryobi 40 volt, 14 inch bar chainsaw. Now they, you can find these in all your big box stores uh, that sell Ryobi. Um, $199 normally. Yeah, okay. So I got mine um, specifically because I got tired of my chain flying off all the time. I tighten that sucker on my regular chainsaw. I got a home light, you know, I only paid $25 for it at a, uh, at a home center, you know, it was a used one. So I got, um, but see what happens is the chain stretches as it warms up and you only got one adjustment for the, the, the tightening thing. Um, so as soon as it warms up, it, boop, it'd fly off. It wouldn't go anywhere, but it'd hang there, you know, it wouldn't hurt me or nothing, you know, so it was built to be safe. So I'd have to stop every two, three, five minutes, and put my damn chain back on. Uh, I got tired of that. So I think it may have something to do with the fact that the chain might have been just old. You know, it, it stretches or whatever. I don't know. I don't understand how chains work in that respect. Okay. But I, I ran out of adjustment for it. Now I could probably take the bar off and drill another hole and back off my adjustment uh, catch for it, you know, um, and then that might give me another, you know, six months to a year's worth of adjustment out of the ding thing. But uh, I got tired of fiddling with the ding thing. I got work to do, you know. I got to get stuff done. You know how it is. So anyway, it was worth it to me to, to buy a, a newer saw. And um, we're going to open it today. We're going to do a product uh, announcement today. We're going to do a review on this thing. Um, and then later I'm going to cut to, uh, me actually using the thing in my, my yard. So we'll see. So here it is. There it is, guys, a Ryobi. We're going to open this thing. It's not even open. Look at this. I just got it from the post office. Oh, man, this is like Christmas, you guys. Ooh, God, that's a huge manual. Let me set this down a little bit. I only got so much room on this. As you'll notice, I keep looking down here, but I'm looking at me, not up here at the camera. See that? There's the camera. Anyway, here we go. Oh, my God, look at this thing. This thing is brand new. No bar on. I got to put the bar on. There's your 40 volt battery right there. Look at this thing. And it's light. It's about half the weight of my, my regular chainsaw. There's no metal engine in this thing, you know. And I love Ryobi. I tell you, oh, I got an old, I got a story to tell you about uh, my Ryobi tools that I got. We'll get into that later. It's so funny. Here's the charger. Oh, this thing is huge. It's wide. You know, bigger battery. Um, there's a booklet even on the battery charger. Holy crap. Here's the battery. Here's the battery. Comes in its own little box. Let's turn it right side up. Yeah. 
Man, this manual, I can't believe this manual is killing me. This thing is huge. Oh, it's probably written in 14 different languages. Of course. The actual manual has only got about 20 pages or so. so. Another cardboard box. Oh, look at that. It's a Ziploc bag. How about that? Ain't that something? Holy crap. You see how big my hand is? Look how big that sucker is. Now, it's it's only four amp hours. I mean, my regular battery and my Ryobi tools. Um, this is the 18 plus one. It's 18 volts. It's four amp hours. This thing is twice that size, but it's at 40 volts. 40 volts at four amp hours. So we're going to see how long that lasts. We're going to we're going to get that all charged up and uh, put it together. Oh, check this out. Here's your bar. Here's your chain. Ryobi. And there's a chain guard. Well, this is good. I'm going to, you know, when I put it in the trunk of the car, here's my chain guard. So, and then, of course, I'm not going to sit here and put it together for you on it, but you, you know how these work, right? I'll take this cap off and then um, stick this on there with the chain and then tighten it up and everything like that. So, um, again, it's lightweight. Right? I could throw it around, all kinds of weird angles, things like that. And uh, actually, you know how these batteries, they come with um, a, 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 a voltage level progress thing? I don't see one on here. So I'm just saying, you can see that. It says four amp hours, so that's good. But, oh, here it is. They show, um, well, we'll get into it. I'll get into the, the thing. We'll, we'll, we'll show you. I'm going to cut to a, a scene where I'm going to show you me using it. We're going to be cutting down a whole bunch of trees. and um, I'll let you know how long this battery lasts before I have to recharge it. Now, this is the only one I've got for the four, the uh, 40 volt. Uh, my other ones, i got a couple of them. So if I, I go through a battery, then I'll just chuck the other one on there and uh, off I go, you know. So uh, we'll get to this one. I mean, how easy is that? Boom. Clip. And then off it goes. That's it. I mean, I could talk to you guys while this thing is running. Woo. That is awesome. Um, I got to fill it out. I got to put the fluids in it. There's a, there's a container here for the oil. You know, you can chain bar oil. You got to put that in there. Got to keep that running. Brushless brushless okay so that's not going to wear out um i've had electric uh chainsaw before the corded kind and it just wears out after no time and this being a major brand name ryobi i expect it'll be a lot better it'll last and last so um before i get too far again like i said let me um cut to a scene where we're going to be using it and then i'll get back to you thank you for watching
Well, there you go, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I chopped a couple of trees down. Well, one tree at least. Um, and there was a whole row of trees behind me. And then uh, I eventually got them all whacked down too. So um, I'll show you a video clips of that when I do my deforestation video. Um, cleaning up my yard. You know, yard work, never ending. So we'll get into that later on. But Anyway, for this video, this is the, the Ryobi Chainsaw Reveal, and um, uh, I showed you what it looked like, some of the features, and um, we got to, to use it uh, in the video here, and it's just like any other chainsaw, uh, except it's a lot lighter weight, and so you can do more work with it. Now, the thing is, I, I wanted to let you know how long that battery would last, and... Um, I noticed that uh, it was averaging about half an hour, 40 minutes with my battery. And sometimes upwards of, um, depends on how many times you stop. If you're just continuously cutting with it, if you're cutting up wood or lumber, or, uh, you know, firewood, whatever, um, it was lasting me um, upwards of about 40 minutes. Now, if you're trimming stuff down, you stop, you look around, and you got to figure stuff out drag some logs around, you know, the smaller wood. These are just small logs. They were like four to six inches, some of these things that were cutting up with the, with a chainsaw. And then I use my loppers to get the limbs and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I, I'd be using this thing for an hour and then it'd be pooping out on me. So, <clears throat> but I bought, I bought a second battery. Um, luckily I found a, um, a uh, one on eBay that was a six amp hour battery. So um, I charge them both up. I go out there on my property and I whack, whack, whack. And, um, and I'm pretty tired. By the time I get done with those two batteries, I am pooped out. Let me tell you. So it, it works perfect for me. Now, if you're a logger and uh, you're going to go up there and you're going to fell a whole acre or something like that, um, this is not the chainsaw for that. Like I say, it came, it came with a 14 inch, uh, bar on that thing. Um, I have a 16 inch bar that I put on there. Um, you know, it, it's not a heavy duty machine. Um, you know, if you're doing light, light duty stuff, like I said, uh, if your trees are four to six inches, then it'll work just fine for all that stuff. Um, that tree that I took down there, it was probably closer to about eight to 10 inches there at the base. Um, and it still cut right through it. It was really good. I, I enjoyed the heck out of that thing. So um, that's my new toy. Um, I'm going to be using it all over my property. And if you look in the background, you'll see I got some pretty good sized trees out there. I got some in the backyard. I got some that go um, uh, over a foot thick you know, near the base. Um, so we got some challenges ahead of us. So with a fresh set of batteries on that, I'll be uh, whacking those things up and, and dropping them in the, yeah. Oh, I got to make sure that they don't drop towards the house. So that's my main concern. I was allowed to take out all the trees that are endangered, that is a danger to the house. And pretty much every one of them are. You know, if the wind blows, I had one in the backyard that was 65 feet away from the house and it fell over. It just plopped and it fell over. You know, I wasn't there, but the very tippy top of the limb scraped the house. So pretty much every tree within about 60, 70 feet is going to be a problem. And so that's my that's my burden. I got to take those all out. And I have to anyway, because I'm, that's my south side of the house. That's where my solar panels are going to go. And these are, these are, what type of trees these are? They're not maples. They're um, ash, I think. Right? I don't know. Something like that. Um, but anyway, so they're blocking the light. So I got to take them all out. And that's good. That's firewood for the next 10 years. So there they go. Um, I lay up, you'll see them on one of my other tarps in my deforestation, uh, video that I'm going to be doing here real shortly, um, that I, I throw a tarp out 
And then I stack all the, the, the wood on it. You know, as I chop it all up into a foot, foot and a half lengths, I throw them up all on this tarp. And then I found out I should have unfolded my tarp because it's, it's doubled, right? Because it's just a little old cheap tarp. I didn't, you know, I got to put a lot of weight on it. You know, I didn't want, um, I, I doubled it on the bottom. It was a 40 by 30 by 60 tarp and then I doubled it. So it's 30 by 30. Now I got to buy another tarp, 40 by 40, put over the top of it. They're only, they're only about 30, 40 bucks, if that much, not even that, um, from Harbor Freight or whatever, from Home Depot or wherever you go. So anyway, um, I'm going to cut this uh, video short. There, there's my, um, there's my reveal and how much fun I'm going to have with that thing. Oh man, I was just giggly with, with excitation. I was, I was having fun with that little chainsaw. Um, so I hope you like that. Uh, there's a link in the description down below if you want to get one for yourself. Um, I understand that there is a, um, a discount that you might get. I'm not, I don't know how that works. So I'm going to have to try to get you guys a discount or something like that, you know, 10% or whatever it is. Um, but anyway, there's the Amazon link and, um, you can buy these things from eBay if you want or, or, a uh, friend of a friend or however else you get them, but they're, they're a lot of fun. There's not a whole lot to go wrong with them. They just work, you know, and uh, that's what I really enjoy about them. Less maintenance than my uh, regular chainsaw. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like I said, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you want to and ring the bell for notifications and I'll keep you up to date. So toodles for now and um, come back and watch some of my other videos. Thank you for watching.